the car advice rationale for taking on long-term loan cars, which supplement the growing fleet of cars we own outright, isn't hard to get your head around. Living with a vehicle for a few months is a very different thing to the week-long loans that are our bread and butter. A long-term press car is an evolving story, a car that will be driven day in and day out for months on end. By the end of our tenure, we can expect our long-termers to have been driven by a multitude of staffers, competed against rivals and become, frankly, as much a part of the office furniture as our spiffy orange and black swivel chairs. When it came time for yours truly to take ownership of a long-term loan car, there was a clear and obvious candidate, the Skoda Superb. Because I'm firmly of the opinion that this might be the single most underappreciated new vehicle you can buy. Few in the know would argue that Skoda remains one of the most interesting car brands on the Australian vehicle market. A hugely important part of the wider Volkswagen Group, the Czech-based company has carved out an important niche within its parent company. The brief for its team is simple. Take Volkswagen architectures, and focus on producing spun-off cars with an emphasis on practicality. It's a strategy that's working, because while it may lack Porsche or Audi's glamour, its operating margins are nothing to be sneezed at.